On the NHS, I know yeah. that your current position is that you support the status quo in terms of funding, but historically, historically, yeah. you have been very critical of the way the, man the NHS is both managed and financed. You have been previously in favour of what some people call privatisation. How can people trust you on the NHS today? Well, firstly, uh, I'm not in favour of the status quo. I want to see more money put into the NHS. And UKIP is Where's the only... Where's that going to come from? Well, very simple. UKIP is the only party which will tell you where the money will come from. We have a foreign aid budget, which at the moment is costing the British people £30 million every single day. We believe that should be slashed and that money should be put into the NHS. However... So UKIP is uh, the sort of Daily Mail agenda? Uh, well, I don't think there's anything wrong with the Daily Mail's agenda on this. You know, the foreign aid budget at the moment, which is due to go up to £15 billion by the end of this Parliament, is an absolute outrage. I want, to see, I want to see British taxpayers' money spent here in our country on our own people. Now, let me deal with the privatisation of the NHS issue. I gave a speech, uh, I think it was at Hustings in January 2011, where I spoke about more competition within the NHS. Well, look, it's the Labour Party who are going for me on this. I will not be hectic or lectured to by a party which privatised 5% of the NHS when it was in power and has landed the NHS with a debt of £80 billion. But just to be clear, you have fundamentally contract. changed your mind on the role of the private sector in the NHS. In many you ways, have changed your on, mind, on, you? on a personal level, yes, I have, but the party, I want to make this clear as well, has never, ever gone into any single election in its history or will in the future with a policy of privatising the NHS. 